Today, we're talking about the safest countries on Earth, Global Peace Index. Before we begin our countdown, we should probably explain where our results come from. The Institute for Economics and Peace is an independent, nonpartisan, nonprofit organization dedicated to shifting the world's focus to peace as a measure of well being and progress. The Global Peace Index report covers 99.7% of the world's population and uses 23 indicators from respected sources to measure the state of peace under three topics. The level of societal safety and security, ongoing domestic and international conflict, and the degree of militarization. Peace is incredibly difficult to define, but the IEP approaches it as the harmony achieved by the absence of violence or the fear of violence. Now that we've defined what peace means, Let's get to the safest countries as defined by the GPI. Number 12. Ireland. Ireland is one of the safest countries in Europe to visit, though it's not completely crime-free. However, the crime rates in Ireland are relatively low compared to its neighbors. Pickpockets and other small crimes do happen, just not as often as they would in other countries. Ireland is ranked a level one country by the U.S. Department of State, as are all of the countries on this list, which is the lowest and safest ranking for American travelers. The locals are friendly and always open to helping tourists. Lost or lonely, pop into a local pub and chat up the waitstaff or bartender. You'll be glad you did. As far as traveling in Ireland goes, the roads are relatively safe. Just proceed with caution when traveling in rural roads as they aren't fixed as often as the city roads are. Number 11, Switzerland. There is hardly any violent crime, and in 2017, there was only a 0.3% chance of being a victim of violence in Switzerland. The only true risk of visiting this idyllic country is the standard hazard of skiing the Alps. This includes avalanche warnings, altitude sickness, and dehydration. That being said, the country of Switzerland is still ranked one of the safest countries in the world. Some locals are thrilled by the economic boom of tourism that has come about in the last few years. Others are worried that major attractions, which are usually gorgeous landmarks or locations, will become overdeveloped and cater too much to visitors. The Swiss government has established new rules, which went into effect in May 2019, designed to increase safety for high-risk sports activities such as bungee jumping and hiking difficult routes. A continued effort to keep the country as safe as it possibly can be. Number 10, Czech Republic. This tiny country is a popular tourist destination with its medieval architecture, picturesque scenery, and lively nightlife. But the inevitable question is raised, is it safe to travel to? Absolutely. The Czech Republic is number 10 on our list for good reason. Crime rates are low, unemployment is low, and the overall happiness of the citizens is at an all-time high. Even pickpocketing is scarcely heard of. Most locals tend to stay away from the Prague city center as it is tourist priced. So they have set up shops and cafes all around the outskirts. As of 2019, the crime rate of the Czech Republic has dropped for the fifth consecutive year. Number nine, Japan. Japan is known for being a safe country. And in 2014, it had the second lowest homicide rate after Iceland and the second lowest assault rate after Canada. This is a country that its citizens feel so safe, they allow their elementary school students to walk to school unaccompanied with no fear. Even the organized crime syndicate of Japan, known as the Yakuza, tend to avoid tourists as it could bring the police down on them. For female solo travelers, there are women-only accommodations all over the country and even women-only cars on trains and laws have been passed making sexual harassment illegal. Japanese people are almost always willing to help a lost traveler and will compliment you on your Japanese language, no matter your level. Number eight, Slovenia. Slovenia has been steadily climbing the ranks of safest country throughout the years, meaning it becomes more and more safe as the years pass. It was ranked 15th in 2015, 10th in 2016, and now is number eight. The biggest threat to travelers here is being ripped off by taxi drivers at the airport who tend to overcharge. Insist they use the meter and everything should be fine. Slovenia is nestled between Austria, Italy, Hungary, and Croatia, all countries ranked in the top 40 safest countries. 
When it comes to road safety and public health and safety, Slovenia holds a very high rank working in the best interest of its people's well-being. Number 7. Singapore Singapore has been called the Switzerland of Asia because of its cleanliness, stability, and scenery. It has little to no natural disasters. Floods do happen on occasion, but overall, you're safe from most occurrences. There are incredibly strict rules in Singapore, so please exercise caution when visiting and read up on these rules. For example, when coming into the country, tourists cannot exceed more than two packs of chewing gum. Public displays of affection are considered against the outrage of modesty rule, and public drinking is restricted between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Also, being drunk in public might land you in hot water. Because these rules are in place, crime is incredibly low in Singapore, and tourists should feel incredibly safe, as long as you follow the rules. Number six, Canada. One of the things consistently heard is how kind and welcoming the Canadian people are. I'm sure that's why they rank in the top 10 safest countries. It is known for its peacekeeping diplomacy and tolerance for everyone. Canada deserves a spot on the list. According to one website, the crime rate in Canada has fallen to the lowest level since 1969. And while you would think that the largest cities have the highest crime rates, you'd be misinformed. Toronto and Montreal actually have some of the lowest crime rates in the country. The job market in Canada is booming and the economy is on the rise, making unemployment fairly low and the overall safety of citizens high. Number five, Denmark. While Denmark is still on the list as one of the safest countries in the world, it has seen a recent increase in gang violence. Certain neighborhoods have become more dangerous over the years, with the most interesting being Christiania. This neighborhood is quaint and beautiful, but it is strictly forbidden to take photos while there. There is a zero tolerance, and some tourists who have taken pictures have become victims of assault and robbery. That being said, the rest of the country is very safe. The citizens are, by and large, a very laid-back and peaceful group and have one of the best work-life balances in Europe. They are ranked number five in higher education in the world, and the level of overall happiness of citizens ranks high. Number four, Austria. This picturesque Alpine country is known for its economic growth, high education rates, and reserved but friendly peoples. Just as in Switzerland, the main safety hazard travelers will encounter will come from the mountains. Skiing is a popular event, but the heavy snowfalls may cause accidents, so exercise caution when visiting in winter. The best way to visit all of the country is to rent a car, but again, be cautious of the roads, as some of them aren't properly paved and are slick in the winter. Other than that, Austria is consistently on the top 10 list for safest country, and for good reason. Public transportation is very easy to navigate, and most of the country speaks English, and about six other languages. Internations rates Austria number two of 65 countries in the Health and Well-Being of the Quality of Life Index. Number three, Portugal. Ranked number three on the safest countries list is Portugal. Here, the rate of crime is incredibly low. However, petty theft is on the rise, especially in high tourist areas. So keep an eye on your belongings and use common sense when traveling. Portugal is a family-oriented country, so traveling with families or staying in local hostels will bring big dinners and welcoming tables. For those traveling alone, Portugal is a fantastic opportunity. Crime rates, harassment, and discrimination are quite low, so visitors can feel safe while walking around alone, day or night. Believe it or not, it's actually illegal to catcall or harass a woman in the street. Bonus for female solo travelers. Because it's such a popular destination for English-speaking countries, Portugal has translations for most of the major street signs and tourist destinations, and many of the Portuguese speak English. The risk of a natural disaster is fairly low as well. Portugal is out of the path of most tropical storms and hurricanes, and while it has had seismic activity in the past, the last major earthquake was in 1980. Number two, New Zealand. Moving on to the small island state of New Zealand. This country has all the perks of Australia without the dangerous animals, except maybe the Kea. Though it seems to only enjoy the rubber from your windshield wipers, the amount of personal violence and strife between communities is so low that most Kiwis living overseas return home when they're ready to start a family. Transparency International rates New Zealand as the least corrupt country, tied with Denmark. 
Another factor that should make visitors feel safe is that the New Zealand police do not carry personal firearms. They must follow very strict rules that prevent them from acting rashly. The people of New Zealand have adapted to a slower pace of life. They just don't feel the need to rush about. And that's all right with us. Because New Zealanders value their communities and are genuinely nice people, you'll never be too far from a helping hand. Number one, Iceland. Iceland has held the number one position for safest country since 2008. With the largest city Reykjavik hosting two thirds of the country's population, everyone is fairly close to their neighbors. So if something was stolen, there's a better than a good chance that you know that person in some way or another. The country has no military forces and the police do not carry firearms, making citizens feel safer and making the police more approachable. Between high education levels and high employment rates, people don't feel they need to commit crimes, such as theft, keeping the already incredibly low crime rates low. Would you feel safe traveling to any of these countries? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.